Hey guys, I'm Jess and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you five really easy ways of how to travel a little bit more eco-friendly. The first thing you should try and do is reduce the waste that you create in the first place. For example, if you're supermarket shopping, you can buy loose fruit and veg. Here in New Zealand and Australia, they have a bulk section in supermarkets where you can buy nuts and seeds, chocolate and even sweets. So there's no packaging there to be wasted in the first place. If you love coffee, why not sit in a cafe and enjoy your coffee for 10 minutes instead of getting a takeaway cup? Or get a flask like me. It's really hot. Buy beer on tap instead of out of a bottle. It tastes better too. Number two is to say no to plastic straws. When you're ordering drinks in bars and restaurants, it's really easy to just say no straw. I've never had anyone refuse me or think that it's strange, so yeah, it's really easy. If you do really like straws in your drinks, like I do in my smoothies, I carry around a tiny little pouch with a bamboo straw in it. It doesn't take up barely any room and it's reusable so I can say no to plastic straws. I'll link it in the description below. Number three is to buy a reusable water bottle and find taps. In Australia and New Zealand, there's so many public water filling stations. You don't have to buy any water bottles. You can just fill up your water in lots and lots of places. If you can't find any refilling stations, in most Western countries, you can walk into any cafe, restaurant, bar, and ask them to fill up your water bottle. I've never had anyone refuse me, and I've saved money, and I don't have to buy any plastic. In countries where tap water is not drinkable, there are still lots of options. It's possible to get reusable large tanks of water, which you can then decant into your own water bottle. Or there were a couple of cafes in Ubud, in Bali, um, that would let us fill up our own water bottles for a really small fee. So that was great, we saved in plastic. Number four is recycle your own trash instead of leaving it in your hotel room. If you leave trash in your hotel rooms, it's quite likely that it'll end up in one big landfill bin. I know because unfortunately I used to be a housekeeper. If you're able to, take it with you and recycle it, either in public bins outside or some hotels and hostels might have their own recycling scheme. Um, yeah, it's really easy. It's not always easy to find ways to compost, but there's definitely options. In Bali, they have organic waste bins on the street, so I used to just collect my fruit scraps and put them in the bins outside. Here in New Zealand, it's a little bit more difficult because they don't seem to have any food waste collection schemes. But after a really quick Google search, I found a community garden down the road that collects fruit and veg scraps. There are some really cool websites where you can connect with people who have compost bins and that sort of thing. But any I find, I'll link in the description below. Other than that, a quick Google search goes a long way. Number five is to take some reusable cutlery. On flights and in lots of other areas of travel, it's hard to find on-the-go food that doesn't come with plastic knives and forks. So I carry my own reusable cutlery. Here I have a camping set, so a knife, fork and spoon, and I also have a couple of bamboo sporks, both of which take up next to no room in my bag and it means that I can avoid plastic cutlery. I'll link both of these in the description below as well. That's it, I hope this has been helpful and has encouraged you to travel a little bit more eco-friendly. If you're interested in more tips and tricks on natural living and sustainable travel, the link to my blog and my Instagram is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.